Well, hello, hello. Happy afternoon to you. Uh, I am Paul Fletcher from Cities 97.1 in the Twin Cities. Um, hope you're doing well, first and foremost. Um, strange times that we're in right now, yeah? Uh, we have a belief system, a long-lasting or long living, if you will, belief system in place at cities that live music is good for the soul. Um, and I think right now, more than ever, it's awesome to just sit back and let music do what it do. You know what I'm saying? Uh, and with that, um, I give you virtual Studio C. We have, for those of you that aren't here in Minneapolis, we have this great room at our radio station called Studio C, and uh, it's obviously closed, much like uh, everything else. And so um, we... Uh, we have turned to a virtual studio seat presented by our friends at Treasure Island Resort and Casino. And by the way, I'm a huge Blue October fan like many of you are. Uh, you can, if you want to friend up, we can. You can find me on the uh, the Instagram machine here at Paul Fletcher 971 Okay? Just waiting for Justin really is what it boils down to. It's not technically 1 o'clock yet, but I wanted to come in and just kind of get things started. Uh, say thanks to Treasure Island Resort and Casino. Um, I know, I know, sponsors, whatever, but uh, this is not an easy time. So uh, we, we appreciate them more than ever. Oh, look who just requested to go live. Something called Blue October Band. That, shall we? Here we go. Ready, set, connect. There it is! Woo! Okay. Let's do the wave. Ready? I'm going to do the wave. Okay. Hit you. Now oh. you do the wave. Oh, now back to me. Oh. We can just go like this. Yeah, no, no. No? Hi, Boo. Hi. How are you? I'm doing good. Let me get this camera. Will you lean it up a little bit for me, Eric, just so I can see the top of my head? There you go. Oh. Yeah, I probably should head. do that, too. You're right. Good call. How about that? There you go. You look so there. good, dude. Uh, well, I mean, you're my inspiration. Whatever, dude. You've lost some weight. You look so hot. Your eyes are big. I mean, look how big your eyes are. You're dreaming a dream dream, bro. You think that's what it is? Oh, yeah, and, yeah. And your beard looks so much more plush with your skinny face. You think that's what it is? The ear? The what? The ears? Is that what you said? No, I said your beard. Oh, the beard, yeah. That, it needs Why to actually would be I touched talk up. about your ears? Your, I don't have any idea. You're a, weird, you're a weird guy. What, do you want what are you to talking about? about? You're the one that texts me weird stuff. Like what? Oh, oh, you don't want me to say it. You don't want me to say it. I don't remember, because there's nothing that you could say that I couldn't top. Yeah, it's true, actually. <laughs> yeah. Did I ever send you that, that Christmas present via? Yeah, present? you did. Yeah, you did. Yeah, you sent it. I got it. I saved it. Okay, I got good, it and good. Saved it. Good. I got it and I saved it. Good, you should. <laughs> you never know it's me, though. My face isn't in it. <laughs> It's true. That's it's very true. It's my legs. It's truly really true. Hey, how the heck are you? Uh, Man, I'm so good. This is pretty cool because Eric, my engineer and assistant producer, we're starting this whole new thing where we've actually rented a room, right? An office space. And we're in it right now. It's probably, what do you think, Eric? Like five by five, <laughs> right? Huge. It's a small room, but we're seriously going... Uh, we're just doing this to be able to connect with you guys. So it's it's awesome. We're all set up in this room, and you're the first person that we get to talk to in our new space. Here comes the wave. Here comes the wave. Here comes okay, I'm going to do it this way. Here. Back to you. Woo! Not bad. Not bad at all. Not too shabby. Hey, uh, can, I just tell you, can I just tell you one thing really personal before we get started? What? You like my hair? Yeah, I'm really glad you grew it back out. The short hair thing was just not working for me at all. Wow, that thing no. started out as a compliment and then it ended with just, hey, hey, hey. Yeah, come on, do the way, do the way, do the way, do the way. There's my Hey, homies, I just dude. wanted to pop in and say thank you, buddy. I appreciate you doing this. Anything you ever need from me, I'm always here to do the way, do the way, do the way. <laughs> Your arms are like noodles. Yeah, so check it out. Your your comment started out as a compliment that you liked my hair, but then you were like, oh, God, but uh, your uh, short hair was. Uh. I did not channel Jim like, Carrey wow. from Dumb and Dumber, but the short hair just wasn't working for me. I like it, but you've got, look it, I have this to work with, okay? 
That's celebrate hot. what you have to work with. That's a, that's like Sean Connery. Bulldog. That's not not even Sean Connery's hey, got a way better head of hair. I'm gonna make a Sean Connery talking dartboard. It goes like this: Bullseye, double twenty, ten, bullseye. Sorry. When will that be out? I want that. I don't know, dude. I can't get anybody to make it right now. Get it? <laughs> wow. Uh, by the way, that, that, that other face that popped up in here is uh, Rich Davis, so you can hear on Cities 97.1 from 10 to 2. Um, so, I know him uh, because we went out to dinner together, me and Rich. We sat across from each other and stared at each other's eyes while we... What did we have? Did we have sushi? You don't like sushi. No, correct. I do not. Why did we go to sushi then? Because you guys like sushi. It's I funny. don't like sushi at all. So, oh, well, Rich loves sushi. Then that's why we did it. Probably. And yeah. because Paul likes sushi. Oh, yeah. Paul does like sushi. For those of you who don't know, the other, Your Paul. other Paul. Yeah. Paul Nugent. Who's the other Paul, though? I kind of think I'm the other Paul. No, you're the Paul. The other Paul is Paul Nugent. The other Paul has been in your life far longer than I have. Yeah, but look at you right now. God, you look... Oh, wait. Sorry. Sorry. Okay. Yeah, I wish we could, like... I wish I could steal some of your hair and then you could steal some of my beard and it would be a perfect face. Do you saying that my beard is bad now too? No, like I'm not saying your beard's bad. It's just not as good you as mine. Start out real hot and then you get cold. I'm just saying it's not as good as mine. That's all I'm saying. That's all I hear. All hey, I hear. do you do you care about your family at all? Do I care about my family? <laughs> yeah, I do. Yeah, so do I. Will you sing a song about that? Oh, boo. Yeah. Look at me go! Look at me go! You're good. You're good. <laughs> I'll smile if I want to. I'm not afraid, gonna flaunt it too. But I'm gone when you're living true. Yeah. I'm living for the right now. I had a few friends show me how I take a deep breath and blow it out I let it go But listen up I, I can't wait To see what's around that corner I, I can't wait to soar Cause baby, I lie awake I watch you sleeping thinking It's the little things that make a home Like Dancing in the kitchen in the pale moonlight Only care in the world is that our kids are all right Daddy loves mama, mama loves him Tomorrow we get to do it over again Smile at me baby, take my breath away With the good Lord willing I'll be happy to say that Daddy loves mama, baby, mama loves him Tomorrow we get to do it over again Yeah, over I feel like I'm gonna win I'm as proud as I've ever been Cause I'm surrounded with some good friends Yeah, good friends, good friends uh -huh. I'll forever like a tattoo I stay sticky cause I gotta be the glue for My girl, my friends, my whole family I do it all Cause truly I I can't wait to see what's around that corner. I can't wait to soar. Yeah, cause baby, when I lie awake, I want you sleeping, thinking it's the little things that make a home. Yeah, cause we'll be dancing in the kitchen in the pale moonlight Only care in the world, our kids are alright Daddy loves mama, mama loves him Tomorrow we get to do it over again Smile at me baby, take my breath away With the good Lord willing, I'll be happy to say That daddy loves mama, baby, mama loves him Tomorrow we get to do it over again We found our home. It's something we can build for years from the young and normal home. Yeah, I'll be there to wipe your tears. We all get to see 
who we grow up to be. An anchor when you're down, an ocean when you drown, and we aim for it all. We lift up these walls to make this house our home. Cause we'll be dancing in the kitchen in the pale moonlight Only care in the world is that our kids are alright Daddy loves mama, mama loves him Tomorrow we get to do it over again Smile, let me baby take my breath away But the good Lord willing I'll be happy to say That daddy loves mama and mama loves him Tomorrow we get to do it over again yeah, yeah. Hi. And then you Good had to go times, and do that. Crazy. Good times. Sorry. You couldn't just sit in that moment. You had to go and do that at the end. I had to, bro, because every time I ended, I was going to go, yeah. Hey. I thought you were about to cry. That's why I had to jump. I had to laugh. Did, do you know what? You know what? Do you want to know what that is? That right there, what you just. Your sensitive you, pieces? Do you want to know? Do you want to know what that is? I'm not gonna let you. I'm not gonna let you derail this. Your heart. That is simply one of the greatest songs ever written. Oh, dude, for real, it is. It just is. Uh, if you have, I don't know anybody that can't relate to that. I don't care if you have kids or not. If you don't have kids, you have parents. I yeah. mean, unless you're estranged from your family and or family just means nothing to you. You wow. you uh, outside of that, you relate, and yeah. it's just, dude. I, I still don't know how I wrote it. Honestly, I don't. Like it's one of those songs. People always ask, like, what, how do you write songs? And sometimes, like, well, I go out to the studio with Eric, and I start at 10, and we end at 5, and we see what happens. We vibe, and we, we write. But I think that during that time, like, when you and I became close, and when you and I became friends, and um, I think that that was, that was one of the things that I became very grateful for, the simple things like putting my kids to bed, seeing how smoking hot my wife is every night when I come home. You know, so, <laughs> right. um, well, Keep it in your it. pants. Family, sh it. family show. Keep it in your pants. Thank yeah, you. Yeah, sorry. Uh, but so that song was written like so quick. And, um, and I'm just super grateful because I, I listen to it now and I'm like, as I was singing it right there, I'm like, how the hell did I write that? Like, I don't know. It's brilliant. I, know, I mean, but I, I really am grateful for it. It's funny uh, that you say that. It, it What you just said kind of reminds me of, uh, we had Rob Thomas in Studio C back in, I think, 2012, because I think it was the first year that I was here at Cities. If nothing wow. else, at, at most it was 2013 at the latest. And he talked about, I don't remember which song specifically he was talking about, but he said, sometimes I don't even write songs. They just come out. Like, they just, True. like, it's almost like they're, he said, it's almost like they're given to me. From, sure. so, it kind of so sounded true. like what you just explained. It's so true. I mean, there's, there's a song called Moving On on the new album that is like the same thing. It just came out one day and it's probably one of the funnest songs ever, you know? And it's just some of them come that way. I Hate Me was that way. Into the Ocean was that way. It's weird. It's weird. It's like a big, a big balloon, right? Blowing up like this. And then when it's ready, it pops! And then the song comes out. You're an absolute lunatic. Hold on, hold um, on, hold on. I gotta wipe my teeth real quick. Okay, we're good. No, All right. Not. What is wrong with you? Um, besides everything. Hey, so with that song being, <laughs> with that song uh, being all family and stuff, uh, how are you doing with the kiddos in quarantine? Because that's just, you know, I mean, that's a real thing right now. And it's, you've got two young ones, like I've got two young ones. <laughs> it's not easy. Like last night, we, we did relay races in the basement just to burn some energy. You did relay races. <laughs> oh, dude! I took I took blue I put blue um, masking tape for like painting on the oh, carpet, awesome. and those That's are the awesome. start and finish lines. And we just went back and forth, and I timed them to see how fast they could do it, just oh, to burn some energy. Good. That's what we live out kind of in the country. We live out in the country. No, and, I know you do. And uh, if you Don't actually got to come visit me whenever you're in Austin, you got to come hang out. Uh, but what it's really nice because uh, we're homeschooling the kids, or my wife is homeschooling. I'm doing PE and stuff like that. But uh, it's nice because- You are athletically this... gifted. Totally. I mean, look at that, look at those muscles. Anyway, I'm gonna answer your question now, Paul. Okay, okay sorry, sorry about so that. Like, sorry, what did that, sorry? That's from Canada, you know. Oh yeah, there. Uh, um, anyway, it's really nice because I get to spend like really, really nice time with my kids and um, 
quality time. And there's, there's a level of peace going on at my house right now, for me at least. I know that the world is, I'm a firm believer that everything happens for a reason. And I, I believe in a higher power, other people don't maybe, but I believe that this is a time to regroup and get back to minimalism. Is that a word? Simplicity? Yeah, uh, minimalism is a word. I'm not worried about buying things. I'm not worried about catching up with the music industry. I'm not worried about going to number one. I'm not, I'm just, I'm just, the only thing I'm worried about is, um, is how I can communicate with the outside world, right? That's about my only worry right now because everything else I can't control. And it's really nice to be with my kids and my wife and, uh, and hang out with Eric and be able to work from there. And it's nice because my daughter, Blue, who lives with us now, she's 12 years old, right? Yeah. And she is the fastest seventh grade girl on track in Wimberley and Blanco. Yeah. Thank, yeah. That's, That's obviously. She, she's asked me to go jogging with her every day. So every day I've been, Jogging? Yeah, it's jogging. Jogging? I guess yeah. there's a silent J in there. It's a silent J, yeah. Yeah, jogging for a mile every day, and then we walk two miles. So I'm getting cut, bro. I'm going to look like Brad Pitt in Fight Club when this is over. Yeah, you probably will. I would say you're probably right about that. Uh, props to her. That was obviously your jeans, your athletic jeans being handed of down. Of course. Yeah, that's very cool. Obviously my Levi's. Um, let me see here. I'm going to find a question just because I want to. Um... Uh, huh, 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 huh. I can't believe how skinny your face is, dude. You look so good. This is just a good comment. What? Home is, can you see that or not? Home is, is an anthem. I feel it really hit me at the time when my husband and I needed it most. Love. Oh, that is sweet. See, Very cool. That's, that's the greatest thing about making music. Yeah. I don't know Great. what I would do if I made music about, I don't know. Well, I do make music about making out some of it but but you know what i'm saying you should write a song about the houston astros oh are you kidding me right now no i'm not is it called is it going to be called everybody cheats in baseball but astros are the only ones that got caught is that what we're going to call it the twins is that don't what we're going to call it the twins don't cheat because they don't win enough uh, um, well, there you go make a song about them call it I'm a loser, baby. Wow, that's already Whoa. been written. Hey, that just Burn. that just inspired that just, that just it did a little bit. That just inspired a question right there. What you just said, I'm a loser, baby. Uh, what one song? Serious. I want a serious answer. I don't want a bunch of shenanigans. What one song do you wish you had written that you didn't write? Is there one that you just go, God damn it? There's there's a couple. Can I just say about three of them? Can I say three? I, yeah, I guess I'll allow it. Whatever, dude. Uh, Every <laughs> Breath You Take by the Police. Sheer genius. Uh, Chris DeBerg, Lady in Red. Mm. And I would have to say The Cure, Pictures of You. Oh, yeah. I mean, come on, dude. Like, how more nostalgic could you get? Yeah. How more romantic? Wait, sorry. Easy. How more romantic could you get? You know, those songs. I could go on, but yeah. not. What no. about you? Three's anything, because I haven't written one. <laughs> Uh, I mean, God Only Knows by the Beach Boys. God only knows what I be without be you. Be without you. Correct. Wow. Yeah. I think I think that's a perfect. I think that is the perfect song. So. Yeah, yeah. yeah, I'd have to say so too. I think that there's a lot of George Michael songs that I think are pretty amazing too, like Kissing a Fool. Interesting. Okay. Uh, also, Peter Gabriel, like anything that. Anything really that he puts out that is like Mercy Street or, or uh, I mean, I could uh, Biko or uh, oh my gosh, Salisbury Hill, anything you know, timeless songs like that. What's your favorite song to perform acoustic? Just say home because you just played it. Home, home, that's what I was gonna say because I can chill it out, you know, you know, make it all sweet, make Paul Fletcher cry. I, with I'm, sheer I have, joy. I have no, joy. I have absolutely no trouble crying. I've cried to that song more than once. And I'm okay with that. Because it hits yeah. me in the, it hits me in the ooey gooey areas. So All there you boo. go. Yeah. All boo. Hey, um, let me think here. Uh, I'm going to find, let me see here. I have, I have like things written down. I have little notes written down. Dude, um, take your time, bro, because I'm one, with you. One silly question, and then we're going to do another song. Uh-oh. Favorite breakfast. 
Favorite breakfast? Yeah, what's your favorite thing to eat for breakfast? Um, breakfast, I, breakfast. I, I like when we go to restaurants on the road, I like to order a four egg omelet, egg whites. Protein. Spinach, broccoli, bell peppers, grilled chicken, uh, no cheese, oh. and maybe bacon, yeah, maybe bacon. I'm in on all that except the broccoli, although I could deal with the broccoli in that when it's surrounded by all those other things. Dude, I'm a sucker for some spinach. I do like the spinaches. Spinach and a protein shake in the morning. Dude, I need to get into that. My wife's been doing that. Hold on. Ninja, you need a ninja. Do you have a ninja? The blender thing? Hold on. Sorry, I was just thinking about my wife again. Uh, she's got like a, a- Get a room, bro. She's got like a, I'm in a room. Oh, good point. You have a room. <laughs> She's got like a, a ninja or a karate or a kamasulabe or whatever it is that chops up her stuff and basically she drinks it like a like a like a knight in shining armor and I'm not sure. How does a knight in shining armor drink? Is it different than the rest of us? Roar, roar, roar. <laughs> <laughs> you wanna play another song now? I would love to. I would love to. I want to. Hey, it's I National Spinach to. Day. It is not. I'm Googling what? it. What? Somebody said it's National Spinach Day. It is not. Google oh, it. I am right now. National Spinach. Not that I don't trust. March 26th. Oh, my God. Oh, National Spinach. I love you, Spinach. Who was that? I got to find who that was. Yeah, um, genius is all I got to say. That's what, that person was a genius. Yeah, that person's brilliant. Thank you for... Who was it? Uh, hey, something Stanford. You. Pay... Paola Stanford. How are you Paola getting Stanford, your groceries so. lately? Genius. What? How are you getting your groceries lately? At the grocery store. You go into the grocery store? Yeah. I sure am glad you're six feet away from me right now. Uh, I uh, I sanitize when I get Hello. out of my car. I sanitize, no, I, I sanitize the cart. I'm being serious, though. Sanitize when I get out of the car. Sanitize the cart do my stuff, don't look at anybody, just go in, get the stuff that I need. Then I sanitize the cart when I leave and I sanitize my hands again when I get in the car. That's great, but what is the point about not looking anyone? That's pretty rude. Because it's, bre there's, br you can trans, you can transfer with breath. Just no, head no, down. not look at anyone. I hold my breath I... the entire time when I'm in there. <sighs> That's how I shot. <laughs> oh you gotta get God. essentials, brother. You gotta get essentials. Yeah, essentials. Yeah, I gotta yeah. have bear, I gotta have bell peppers and I gotta have salad. Like hairspray. Uh, <laughs> rave. Remember rave? Hairspray, Twinkies. Oh, totally, totally, totally. Cheetos, the essentials only. You know, you know what? You know what? Uh, I'm trying to lead this into the next song. Okay. You know what they say? If hey, here's some Twinkies. You know what I say? I know what you're gonna I say. I want it. Oh. <laughs> Should I be in radio or what? Uh, no. No? Okay. No, that was, that was rough. To all of you in the way. <laughs> I push you aside. If flames burn down together. I refuse to ignite Oh, and I won't walk away I'm here to stay I raise my hand in grace and I pray for the ones I wish I could erase. Cause we are who we are and we'll be who we'll be. We'll live for the moments and the mystery that everybody owns a scar. Just show them how you got this far. Cause we are who we are and we'll be who we'll be. But don't ever think you'll take away the fight in me. I want it, I want it, I, I, I want it, I want it, I want it, want it more than you ever did. Jesus. Boy. 
here's to starting over. Well, I heard you're shutting down shop. Well, I'm taking it over, and I'm never gonna start. Oh, I'm never gonna start. Well, here's to the ones who said that you couldn't win. <coughs> Well, here's to the crazies getting under your skin. Well, yeah, they're always gonna talk. But what? I'm never gonna stop. Oh, and I walk away. And I'm here to stay with I raise my hands in embrace And I pray for the ones I wish I could erase Cause we are who we are and we'll be who we'll be And we'll live for the moments and the mystery of everybody owns a scar Just show them how you got this far Cause we are Don't ever think you'll take away the fight in me. I want it, I want it, I, I, I want it, I want it, I want it, want it more than you ever did. I want it, I want it, I, I, I want it, I want it, I want it, want it, want it, want it more than you ever did. Love it. Hold on. <laughs> Good hygiene. After every song, is that the bit? Or hey, man, these these pearly watch are my money maker. They might be crooked, but they're beautiful. You should wear those on stage. It'd be a cool light show. No, because then you couldn't sing. In between, mm, okay. during bre during breakdowns or something. During breakdowns, like yeah. emotional breakdowns. No. <laughs> 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 Speaking of emotional breakdowns. Oh, what are we going to talk about now? I don't know. I thought you were having one. Um, <laughs> this is fun. We should do this more. I agree. This is like this, this has been one of the cool kind of silver linings that have come out of this crazy situation because, you know, one of the things we love doing here is we've got this beautiful room for acoustic performances, which you've been in. Like the best in the country. Like it's so suave. It's, Sometimes it's, you go into radio stations and it's just a boardroom. This is like a stage, lights, everything. Sorry. Yeah, we're really fortunate to have what we have. And so we were kind of like, how are, I don't know. A light bulb just went on to me one day and I was like, we need to keep doing it um, and do it even more frequently because of uh, everybody's kind of just, you know, like it, it, even if you're working at home, think of this as just like a nice little, hopefully you've got a salad right now or whatever it is you're eating and you just can chill and forget what's going on and just, you know. So like I said at the very beginning of this, before you jumped on, we've got a, a belief system in place here at Cities 97.1 in Minneapolis, and that is that live music is good for the soul. Oh, yeah. And now yeah. you are buffering like crazy. I'm buffering? There, there you are. Now you're back. Hi. You were buffering on this end. But live music is, live yeah. music is good for the soul, so we wanted to keep it going, especially now. Live music is great for the soul, and that's why I guess I'm more at peace with this whole situation right now, because there's a lot of art is timeless, you know, and I'm super blessed and grateful to be able to write music for a living and work on my book that I'm doing and, and work on uh, well, the fourth edition of the book. Look at that hair. Look at that hair. Look at it. Look at it go. Look at it go. It goes right back into place. Look at that. Um, so but but like art is timeless, like I said, and yes. so I'm, I'm so thankful for like, I, I've watched like Death Cab for Cutie doing these things. And and all these bands that I love, they're all going live now. And it's so cool because we're all on the same level playing field. Is that what I'm trying to say? Yeah. I mean, you know, but I think this is cool, almost maybe even therapeutic for some because some are not having such a good time with it. You know what I mean? So yeah. it's well, uh, that's cool. just the, that's just the mind frame that I have to stay in. Absolutely. If I, Absolutely. If I go into a different mind, my, my, my mind frame, I'll, I'll go down. The You'll lose it. Yeah. yeah, and I want—I actually want to come back to that in one second. How about this, though? Ooh, describe your life with three songs. Does it I think that's great. It's almost like a, board, it's like a board game, almost. Does it have to be my song? No, I don't think so. She wow. didn't, uh, he or she did not specify, so you, I think you make up your own rules. Okay. I would have to say, um, ooh, 
Oh my gosh. Oh. Uh, okay. Don't be so dramatic. What? Nothing. Nothing. Uh, You're doing great. Uh, let me think. Okay, let me think. Describe my life with three songs. Um, uh, Roy Orbison crying first for the younger days. <laughs> um, the middle one would have to be Kissing a Fool by George Michael because I just was never good at love, man. Never good at it. And then the last one would have to be Oh man, uh, I did it all for the nookie. <laughs> nookie, so you could take the cookie. And stick and it up your- The last one would probably be Fascination Street by The Cure because I like the imagery in that song and I, that's how I wanna live my life every day. You know, uh, just, just everything, making it as fascinating as you possibly can. And doing it all for the nookie. Yeah, 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 yeah. So you, you can gotta, take you that gotta admit, when that song came out, you loved it too. Oh, hell yeah. Kidding me? I think I adored it. Think I didn't? I loved it. Come on! The cookie. And you stick it up your yeah. Stick it up stick your it up. yeah. What do you think he was saying when he said stick it up your yeah? Like, I think he meant I think he meant the word yes. Yeah. Um, okay, so uh <laughs> I, I would have to imagine, I don't know this for a fact, but I would have to imagine that something that is a very real issue right now in the world with what's going on is just coping and dealing with mental health. And I know that this is something obviously near and dear to your heart. Um, you have any thoughts to share, any advice, et cetera, that, you know, I mean, cause it's, it's like, this cannot be good for those that are, you know, going to regular groups or therapy or whatever. I'm, I'm hopefully there's, you know, video chat sessions, stuff like that. But, um, I just, I felt like it was something to touch on because it's something that you, you know, obviously you're kind of a champion of that whole platform. I'm a firm believer and I've always been this way. I just did a panel about mental health the other day with some pretty big wigs and I was up there like, what am I doing here? But they asked me how I deal with depression and mental illness because I've always suffered from depression and pretty, pretty sometimes paranoia and it gets pretty dark if I don't take my meds and I don't go be active and work out. I'm not saying go run the streets and go crazy. I'm just saying to stay active your mind, to stay active your body. Uh, meditation does it a lot for me right now too. And I'm not sitting there talking going, oh, I'm, bing, 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 blah, blah. Right. I'm talking about putting on peaceful music, sitting in the quiet, turning off the murder, death, kill shows that I love watching and really focusing and centering myself. And I pray a lot. I mean, I'm sorry, I don't wanna get all weird, but I pray a lot. Um, Not weird. I have to keep myself active and I have to take my meds. Like I've got like five pills left of my Paxil and I've gotta get more or I know I'm gonna start, you know? So it's, it's all about self proactivity right now. You know, read positive things, surround yourself conversation wise with positive people. I don't, I don't go into the negative stuff. The world is ending. I don't do it. No, I don't need that in my life right now. No. So it's 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 hard. I understand that, but it's all about being proactive with yourself right now for me. Because if I'm not, I will sit in bed and cry like a little baby, and I choose not to do that anymore because depression's not going to make me. It's little beep beep. You stick know? it up your yeah. I understand. You stick it up. It's yeah. Yeah. No, like, and, and I think yeah. That I think that's all. Uh, fantastic advice and and and, and thoughts. And I, my 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 take on this whole thing is that you know what? It's okay to say that this sucks because it yeah. does suck, but we're all going to get through it. Yeah. We will. Well, almost everybody is going to get through it. Let's just be real. Uh, you know, it, unfortunately, there are those that are going to uh, suffer more than others, but for the most part, we're going to make it through it. As humanity, we will we will survive and we will move on and there will be a tomorrow. Uh, and it's, uh, you know, it's, it's just important to remember that. And I, I think you're right. I, I even body weight exercise, like you don't need, yeah. you don't need weights. You don't need to run three miles, just move, you know? Just move um, and stay, stay active. The, the main thing for me is you have two choices. You can panic, which doesn't solve anything. No, or and there's no need to. This, or you can use this time that when you're always at work going, God, I wish I had more time to do that for myself or do those crunches or those push-ups, or eat right or 
read that book or, or, you know, or spend that time or make out with my wife more, you know, things you like, just, you know, right. Right. Just move on. Right. Right. Yeah. Uh, I got people, you. Because once you get back to work, people, guess what? You ain't going to have the time no more. It's correct. You're going to want to be still outside. Still You're not going to want to be around your wife. You're going to want to let fly whoa, like a bird. Whoa, whoa, joking, whoa. joking, 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 jokes. Hey, um, and uh, I want, and, and uh, on that topic, uh, it got pushed back, uh, the date, but get back up is yeah. coming uh, back to August 21st. The other Paul told me about that. Yeah. I've been fortunate enough to see it already. And I can attest that it is, uh, it's an awesome piece of work. It's so, um, I don't know. I guess just it, it's inspiring. It, it's a, it's an awesome redemption story, and um, you're fairly close to the project. I think you know the guy that was in it. Um, you maybe don't know the other guy, the guy that was in the beginning of it, quite as well as the guy that, that's no. in the end of it. Yeah, but, I know him. Yeah, that guy at the beginning. I don't even know who the hell he is. No, he was crazy. I'm so proud to be a part of this project, though. It's taken eight years to put it together, and people wow. sometimes are like, "When is it going to be out?" And it's it's. It's I'm it's I'm more proud of this than I've ever been of anything because it doesn't come from the ego, it doesn't come from any place other than just man. Life can be so good if you if you just stop for a second and get rid of the character defects and work on the positive in your life. You know, for sure. Character defects can be really crazy, Paul. I live with them every day. I have a lot yeah. of defects. I mean, look at this defect. God, I'm handsome. I need look to get at this. Of... Look at this defect. Wow, that's not a character. That's physical. <laughs> and you can't really change that. It so. is a de it is a defect, though. That's a physical um, problem. <laughs> it is. <laughs> Get back up, uh, August twenty first. I'm telling you, if you're a Blue October fan, you're gonna love it even more. But it goes beyond that. It, it's something that transcends the band. And it's really not about the band. It's not a VH1 behind the music. It's more of. I mean, it's really more about overcoming um, addiction and and mental health, and that's really what it's about. And taking not overcoming mental health. That didn't make sense. Um, but uh, but addressing your mental health yeah, and rec um, recognizing that it's there and, and becoming uh, make it letting it become a part of the family, I guess, and live with it, you know. Yeah. Um, and there's also going to be a new album in the, uh, someday. Um, one day there'll be a new album. What are you talking about? The new album's already freaking done. It's being mixed right now, bro. Woo! Well, I just wait, hear wait. words of it being tweaked over wait. and over again and tweaked wait. and. What are you talking about? Tweet. I'm just. Uh -uh. We're mixing it. We're on to the Christmas album right now, bro. And we're on to the next album. We're proactive, baby. We don't you got, stop. You said you got the time. You better. We we're, what did Drake say? We started from the middle and now we're kind of a little bit above the middle. That was genius. I don't. I... <laughs> started from the middle, now we're a little bit higher. Yeah. You should play another song that's not a Drake song. That's not a drink song? Drake. Drake. <laughs> I got you. I got you. All right, so I wrote this about my 12-year-old. Uh, she lives with us. Took her to middle school. First week, I'm taking her. I'm noticing after school when I pick her up that these boys are looking at her. And I remember, you know, just, yeah, I know. I, that I doesn't, it's not real, right? Like my daughters aren't gonna grow up and it's not gonna happen, right? Oh, it will. It will. But this is, it's a whole nother story right now. Get that, look, come on, positive, bro. Stay positive with me. Stay positive. That face is not attractive. There you go. Uh, <laughs> so I just remember going back to middle school and listening to songs like, um, I feel so extraordinary. Something's got a hold. Remember that New Order song? Yeah. You know, I would yes. walk into middle school like that with that in my head thinking, I'm Ducky from, you know, Pretty in Pink. Well, I started thinking, man, I should just, I should just write a song about it. Can I tell you about my middle school days? Yeah. The reflex is a, yeah. That's my middle school. How old are you? How old are you? Let's go on. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, was your middle school also? Ha, 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 ha. I know this much is true. I think, wow, that was actually really good. I want to, I think that was, I think that was a little before middle school, but I don't remember for sure. 
I feel like that was maybe a tail end of elementary, but I wasn't a big culture club guy, so. That wasn't culture club, that was Spanda Ballet. Oh, right. Wow. <laughs> well, there you go. <clears throat> Did I just take your job? No. Did I just take your, wait, I'm in No, because nobody cares about Spando Ballet, I'll be fine. Oh my God. Except you. Okay, I'm gonna, I'm we're, gonna, gonna, we're gonna play OMD if you leave this weekend, does that redeem anything? Yeah, that's awesome. OMD is one of the best bands ever, dude. Okay, I'm gonna play this song now. Hold on. I gotta get my 80s vibe. That's not it. No. <laughs> <laughs> you wear black hair, I have blue. You look sadder than most girls do. The way you walk around, I was watching the brown world. I like watching you. Your friends, they don't like me. I think they're jealous of my tattoos. I'm not a bad guy, just like wearing black eyes. Not scared of anything, but saying this to you, it's going down. Neither of us wanna be alone right now. What? What you gonna do? Oh my my. Yeah, I'm loving all your warning signs Cause I'm a sucker for your own my mind Girl, you get me high Yeah, you're my type you danger, danger Yeah, I'll be waiting by the black top Like a cigarette stain for you Every day I just won't go away I'm not scared of anything but saying this to you it's going down Neither of us want to be alone right now Come on, what you gonna do? Oh my, my Yeah, I'm loving all your warning signs Cause I'm a sucker for you Oh my, my Girl, you get me high Yeah, you're my type You're danger, danger Oh my, my Yeah, I'm a sucker for the lonely kind because I'm loving all your own my mind. Girl, you get me high. Yeah, you're my type. Danger, danger. I can. I'll go anywhere you want me. You want me to. Caught my eye. Watch a spree fall. Catch me. I'll catch you too. I can. I'll go anywhere you want me Cause you want me to You caught my eye Now I'm free for Catch me I'll catch you too I'll catch you too Oh my mind Yeah I'm in love with all your warning signs Cause I'm a sucker for your own my mind Girl, you get me high. Yeah, you're my type. The danger, danger on my mind. Yeah, I'm a sucker for the lonely kind. Because I'm loving all your own my mind. Girl, you get me high. Yeah, you're my type. Danger, danger. Good stuff. Oh, yeah. Yeah. So Yeah. That was good. Thank Thanks, you. Bro. That was awesome. Thanks, um, man. I got hammered during that song for my comments on Spando Well, Ballet. you got hammered? Like, you went drinking? No, no, no. I stayed no. here. Can no, I got crushed. I got crushed for saying that nobody cares about Spando Ballet. I was kidding. Joke. Oh, just, hey, you're powerless over what they think, bro. Just because you're wrong, you know? <laughs> just because you're wrong and you, you're, you're not cool anymore, it's fine. You know what? Duran Duran, better than, greater than, so it's fine. You're a Duran Duran freak. Oh, are you kidding me? On uh, notebooks, D2, written on almost all of them. D2? D2, because it was Duran Duran. Oh, so D squared. Yeah. And I was yeah. like, I think it was so, math class. I think it was like math class, too. So it worked. So like Simon Le bon was like your dude. John Taylor, actually, the bass player. Ooh, he was cool. I was going to say, John Taylor, did you ever get his solo album? I didn't. Is it worth getting? Yeah, this interview's over, bro. Have a good day. Okay. No, 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 no. no That's fine. Kidding. I don't have any Blue October albums either, so it's fine. Oh. <laughs> Your baseball team sucks. 
My baseball team? Pearl Jam? Oh, my God, dude. Never mind. Ah. Why don't you say something bad about Pearl Jam and see what happens, son? No, because they're good. New album tomorrow. Are you serious? Gigaton. Really? Have you heard their single? Uh, yeah, have you heard their single? Mm -mm. Oh, my God. You're going to love it because it's, it's Pearl Jam does talking heads, and I'm not even being sarcastic. So it's kind of 80s vibe? Oh, dude. I'll send it it's, to you as soon as this is, is done. Is he singing like girls? Or is he singing no. like this? He's singing like this. Not like girls. No. Good. <laughs> uh, you're an you're, uh, absolute nutbag. Um, so, I mean, in a good way. <laughs> Do we have a date set for the album yet? Are we going to? What was that? Wait, what was that? That There's was me. There's a crow in here. No, Why is why is there a the, song? The album. Uh, we should get it moved to a we'll better part a of town. We we'll release a song like every month, and um, then we'll have this out probably the album out in June. Can't wait for 2023 when it, we're all back to normal and you have the new album out. You know what? You know what? <laughs> I can't wait till you get funny. Oh! It wasn't, I, wasn't, I wasn't making fun of you. I was making fun of coronavirus. <laughs> oh, my album's coming out and three others by 2023. Mark my word. I'll have three more albums out by 2023. Four total? Is that what you're telling me? Three total. Okay. Four. Four. Because you said this Four. album plus three more. I said I got a Christmas album coming. I got an open book album coming. I got another Blue October album coming. And then me and my boy over here doing an album called Peppermint. Boom. So that's five. If you count right. I did count right. I'm really yeah. good at counting. I'm good at counting. D2, baby. D2. <laughs> <laughs> I bet all the other bands that you have on here are um, going to be fun. I was, I, no, they're going to be fun. Gonna I, be bet fun. I, I bet I'm not wearing their shirts, though. Dude, look at that. Dude, do you need a smaller size now? I can send you one. No, I'm good. I'm good. I like it being a little baggy. Dude, look at those pecs, bro. No, those aren't pecs. Those are moves. I got to get rid of those. Mm -hmm. All right. <laughs> Let's not talk about my weight loss. Um. Let's talk about what I sent you for Christmas. Let's not. Okay. Really, really not. No. Uh, you so asked for it. I want to hit the. I want to hit hey, the. Wait, Eric, yeah, I think every, you gotta meet there. Eric. People are okay. Eric can come in. Hey. Hi, Eric. Ah. What? Why am I leaning? I'm like leaning over to see Eric. Where is he? Is he over there? What should I be doing here? <laughs> <laughs> That's Eric. I can't do this without him. We love Eric. Yeah, we love him like big time. Um, new people in and out. So new album when? New album is going to be this summer. Okay. But we're going to have a track out every month. And we're going to have, we're now making the video for Oh My My. And you know, we had a whole treatment done where we we're going to fly to LA and do this thing with this girl and me and blah, blah, blah. But we can't anymore. So I found this guy named Johnny Chu, right? And he makes art, like visual art, like big time uh, Peter Gabriel uh radiohead paranoid android kind of video Ooh, and he's gonna make one of those for me dude i'm so so excited what was that it's a crow again <laughs> and then documentary <laughs> Jesus. and then documentary august it's 21st. that crow again i'm trying to keep you on track so watch your music oh my god and then uh i'm starting to get a little everybody if you're watching this you're getting a little bit of an insight of what it's like to live with this guy in quarantine. My good Lord. <laughs> no wonder my wife's like kind of annoyed with me right now. No wonder why she's always on a walk. Um, <laughs> you're a lovely human. Uh, get, ba get back up August 21st. You have to see that. Again, if you're a Blue October fan, you're going to freak. And even if you're not, you're going to dig it too. So, uh, so there you go. <laughs> and, and, this, and the cool thing that I'm excited about, Paul, it's like we were talking about being proactive right now. Now is not the time to just sit back and, and cry and, and be sad about all this thing. It's to be proactive. Um, change it up. Switch it up. Do, you know, yep. Get out there and be proactive. Um, we're, we set up this whole studio. We're renting a little bit of a room. And I'm going to do this every week, every Tuesday and every Friday. I'm going to be connecting with people in this room. And, you know, I might even do shows where I play the whole Foiled album. I'm going to do shows where I play the whole History for Sale album. I'm going to do shows where I play all of Paul Fletcher's favorite songs. You know, I might even do covers of Pearl Jam. Who knows? But I'm going to do it. And it's, I'm going to be here until they tell me I can't do it. Look, I'm going to be here looking at you, looking at me, 
Megan, good luck. Oh my God. That's what uh, I'm saying. That's what I'm saying, bro. So you are one of the first. You are the first to get in the studio. How's it feel? Pretty good. Man, feels really what good. What it feels over here it feels real good. You know? <laughs> the train, I think, is coming off the tracks. <laughs> What's there's a train? No. Who's that? <laughs> Nah, I, I can't even I, keep up with you sometimes. I appreciate everything you do for me. And I love you so much. You know that, right? Love you too, buddy. Thank it's you for taking man. the thank you for taking the time for us today. And uh, dude, all you've got to do is call me and say, "Dude, let's do it again." And guess where I'll be? Guess what? What the, the crow? No, guess where I'll be? It's not the be crow. Right what is it? The crow? I don't understand the crow. Because it can't be a red bird. You're a lunatic is what you are. Holy yeah. smokes. You are nuts. You are absolutely nuts. Don't touch your face. Somebody just said, don't touch your face. I am in. Let me tell you really quick before we wrap this up. Uh, I can touch my face because, A, I'm in my own studio. Our very proactive iHeartMedia in Minneapolis has quarantined us all. We each have our own studios. And when I get in here every day, even though I'm the only one in here, the whole thing gets wiped down with these. And I've got so much sanitizer on my hands that my knuckles are starting to get so dry and washed my hands. I can rub my eyes. Trust me. It's totally fine. I couldn't be any. This is the cleanest I've ever been in my life. I see peanuts and almonds. You like nuts. All right. And yeah, you got to floss too. All right. Take care of your teeth, buddy. I got to. Hey, I actually have to go. You. I actually have to go make radio. This oh is, yeah, I forgot about that. This is gonna end up. If you want to, if you want to go listen, you can. Cities ninety seven point one on iHeartRadio. You can listen from anywhere. We should do this weekly. Call me anytime. I'll do it with you anytime. Uh, well, all right. We will let, let. I love that. We'll do it. We'll, we'll do, do it. it. On, we'll do it on mine. Some okay, ready? Here we go. One more wave before we go. All right. Ooh. What? What's this? What's that? What? Uh oh, that? it's bro. It's broken. If that would have been your walk off, if you could have hit end while you fell out of the screen, like that, <laughs> it would have oh, been. Yeah, I hope you're happy. Oh, that's right. Hey, anyway, you have a good day, okay? You too, buddy. Thank you. Everybody, thank you for watching. Health professionals, thank you thank for being you out there, risking yourselves every freaking day to uh, keep us all safe. Um, yep. Doing this, I wish I had, I wish I could tell you who we're going to have on next week, but I don't have it nailed down yet. But we're gonna I'm going to be on next week. You're, we're, we will do another one next week. It's just going to be different from this. But we're going to do I'll talk to you about it. Um, but right here on this Instagram Live, 1 p.m. Tuesday, Thursday next week, I'm going to figure out who it is, but I just can't say yet. Okay. Also, I think that you're beautiful. I love you. Hey, have a good one. I love you. Okay, take care. Hey, send me that picture that you promised me. Later I will. Tonight. I will. Okay, over and out, guys. Peace. Hey, thank you, everybody. Thank mm -hmm. you.